All right, I've got the floor mat removed and a couple of the floor boards removed so we can get to this mag post right there. And I have found that the, the old school analog multimeters work better for this than these uh, digital multimeters. First, we gotta start the car. Spark all the way up, a little bit of throttle, uh, key on, and ignition. Then you take your compass, put it right on the mark or right behind the mark on the hog's head and turn the engine over until you get a strong north reading, which is the red end of the needle there. Some people say to physically park your car in an east or west orientation so there is no ambiguity when the compass points to the north. But if your magnets still have any charge at all, I really don't think that step is necessary. The proximity of the magnets to the compass will easily override uh, the magnetic north of the earth. Okay, so judging by the needle, it looks like we're in between north and south. So we'll rotate the engine over until you get a strong north reading and then we'll stop it there. You can see here when I move the compass from left to right, it's finding north and south on the magnets inside the uh, case there. So for example, that's pointing towards the south poles of two of the magnets. And now it's pointing towards the north poles of two of the magnets seems to help if I hold it off the hogshead rather than scrape it along for some reason. So that's what I'm doing. I think that's right on the money. I'm going to go with that. So let me show you how that looks in a sort of a cutaway view outside. So the here's car. sort of what we're dealing with. These are the copper field coils right here. And these are the feet of the magnets all the way around. There's 16 of them. Each magnet has one north pole and one south pole. And here's what a magnet looks like. This one's even still got the Ford logo on it. All right, so this is an old mag ring that I had laying around. And the magnets go something like this all the way around. So the light poles of each magnet are supposed to be next to each other. So for example, if this is north and this is south on this particular magnet, then this would be south on this magnet. So it would be north, south, south, north, north, south, south, north, north, so on and so forth, all the way around. So here's basically what we're doing in the car. We're putting the compass near the mark that we made, and then we're rotating the engine until north lines up with two of the north poles of the magnets. So you can see when you spin it, it's going from south to north. 
south, north. And if you rotate it too quickly, it does not give you a good reading, as you can see. So now I've got north lined up with the magnets, just like we've got it in the car. So again, the magnets and the field coils are not visible when you're doing this in the car. This is just an example of what's actually taking place and how it looks and why the needle is doing what it's doing. All right, now it's time to disconnect the wire from the magneto post. Now it's time to set up the three 12 volt batteries. One. Two, three. These three batteries are hooked up in series. So the next step is connect a battery cable to the positive of battery number three and the other end of the positive to the magneto post. And then we take the negative end of the same battery cable, attach it to negative of number one. So now this is a lot of preparation for something that only takes one second. So the only thing left to do is take the negative end of the, of the battery cable strike it to a good ground on the car and we're done so i don't think this is a foolproof operation i think there are things that could prohibit a successful result but uh, i think we've taken every step we can to give us the best chance at this That was a good zap. You saw that huge spark. So theoretically, it's done. So now I just gotta button everything up, put it back together, start the car, and check the voltage.